Hi, I'm Louise Rashford, founder of LA Skincare, and today we're going to show you how LA Skincare can help your skin. I'm Harry Edney Bow, brand ambassador of LA Skincare, and I'm here today to show you my daily routine. LA Skincare is a step by step skincare routine, it's a six step process. The first step is the LA Cleanser. This can be used as a makeup remover or just to freshen up your skin on a daily basis. So apply a small amount into your fingertips. It's a foaming wash cleanser, so you just add a little bit of water and lather it up into your hands. So apply to the face in circular movements. The cleanser should be used daily, morning and night. It can be used to remove makeup as well. The LA Cleanser does contain an ingredient called salicylic acid. This is derived from aspirin, so it's really good for your skin. It helps reduce any swelling from spots and it also helps shed your dead skin, so it's really good for anti-aging. It will leave your skin feeling amazingly clean. So the cleanser is easily removed using sponges or a face cloth. The LA Cleanser is the product that I love most for removing my makeup. It's the best I've ever tried. Step two is the LA scrub. Again, only a small amount is needed. That is more than enough to do your whole face. So apply a small amount into your fingertips first before applying to the face. I advise to apply it to dry skin rather than wet skin because you get a much deeper scrub. If you are slightly sensitive, I would apply a little bit of water to lather it up first. Again, using circular motions, massage it into your skin. I advise to use a scrub twice a week. If your skin can handle it, you can use it three times a week. Again, if you do have sensitive skin, I'd probably advise to use it once a week. So as with the cleanser, the scrub should be removed using face sponges or a face cloth and then rinse with water and towel dry. I tend to do this for about one minute, um, twice a week, and once I wash it off, my skin is always deeply cleansed and very smooth. Step three is the chocolate enzyme peel. The chocolate enzyme peel should be used once a week. If you do have problematic skin and it's severely oily, you can use it up to twice a week. If you have really sensitive skin, I would possibly recommend every 10 days. It is a personal favorite of mine. Your skin will feel amazing afterwards. It can leave your skin quite pink, so please note if you are sensitive, your skin can go quite red. It is not a reaction. This is what the face mask does. It gets really deep underneath your skin and it leaves your skin feeling really, really nourished. It's brilliant for getting rid of spots, for helping with aging and giving your skin a really fresh, glowing look. Again, only a small amount is needed. This should be more than enough to do your whole face. You only apply a very thin layer to get the maximum effects. It doesn't need to be on thick. So I'm just going to apply the face mask now. So if I was you, I would spread it across first, each area, to get an even coverage. So I've been applying this um, once a week. Is that enough for my skin or? That's absolutely perfect. For your skin, Harry, I think you could probably get away with doing it twice a week. Okay. Especially because you often have a lot of makeup on, mm -hmm. it can help cleanse your skin, so it'll get rid of any extra makeup in your pores, it'll clear all your pores, which will help close up your pores. Yeah. I um, I find that I have makeup applied to me sort of every, well, five days a week, and um, different types of makeup, and I suffer with outbreaks because of it. So do you think that this would actually help the breakouts. Definitely. This is definitely the best product to help your skin with breakouts. So now the mask applied, leave it on. If it's your first time using the mask, I would advise five minutes. Check your sensitivity. You can feel warmth, tingling, even a slight burning sensation. Did you find any of that, Harry, when you first applied the yeah, mask? Yeah, I, um, I use it all the time and uh, my skin's changed drastically. I feel tingling all across the top of my cheeks and across my forehead um, and also on my chin. So this is not a reaction, it's part of the ingredients that make the mask work really deep underneath your skin. So it's actually helping your skin from the inside. So if you have really oily skin or like Harry Adney has uh, breakouts, due to makeup, it can really help clean your skin. It can help with anti-aging because it also stimulates collagen production due to the vitamin C content. So it will help 
give your skin a plumped out feeling. You can leave the mask on for up to 20 minutes. The active ingredients will start working after 20 minutes, so if you do go over that time, don't panic, it's absolutely fine. You will find, if you do use the mask regularly, the, red, uh, the redness will calm down, so you might not get as red as you did the first time that you used it. Everybody is different, so some people will have severe redness every single time. If you don't get the redness, it doesn't mean it's not working, it's just all about sensitivity. It's just different reactions from different people. So we're five minutes in to the mask. How's the mask feeling now? Is it still tingling or is it calmed down? The tingling's calmed down, but I'm feeling warm all over my face. It's also very light to wear, so I can't actually feel that I've got much on, which is great. Excellent. Right, so the mask's developing now, and you will feel that it goes quite dry on your skin. It can leave it feeling quite tight as well. Does that feel okay? It feels very tight, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. The alpha hydroxy acid will get deep underneath your skin and helps to shed your dead skin, which then makes your body go into defence to create the renewal of skin cells. This leaves your skin looking really glowing, plumped out, and it's really good for anti-aging, so it can help diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. After using this mask, your skin will feel incredible. It contains an ingredient called kaolin, which is really good for rebalancing the oil in your skin. So it helps create oil control. So if you do have a really big breakout or have a humongous spot, if you apply the face mask, it will help calm the skin down. There are two ways to remove the mask. If you do have quite oily skin and congested skin, it is quite good to rub the mask off. This is a good way to get a really deep peel. Please know if you are sensitive, this is not the best way to remove the mask. Just remove it with warm water and sponges or a face cloth. As you can see, Harry Adney has got a slight shade of pink. You possibly might go a lot pinker than this, or even red. This mask can be used by both men and women. Obviously, sometimes your skin is a little bit more sensitive, so just please be aware that at those occasions you might go a little bit more pink than another time. It doesn't mean the mask is not working as effectively. You're still getting the benefit of all the active ingredients in the mask. It's just occasionally you can go a little bit more red. As you can see from our model Susan, she's gone very red. So if you look, you can actually see a line around her head and her cheeks are very pink. Again, as I said, this is not a reaction. It's just to demonstrate people's different levels of sensitivity. How is your skin feeling now, Susan, after the chocolate mask? It just feels very warm. Does it feel warm? Yeah. Does it feel nourished? Does it feel nice? Um, it feels very smooth, very... Uh... Right, so as I said, you do still get the benefit from the mask. She, Susan's just got a lot more sensitivity than Harry Agni. So step four is the Hyaluronic Moisturiser. This can also double up as an eye cream. So it's like a two-in-one product. Really good for people with oily skin. It won't clog the pores and it soaks in really quickly. It's also good for people with mature skin because it'll penetrate into the skin really quickly again. So you can apply your makeup straight away. So you just need two pumps of this moisturiser for the whole face and the neck. I find the best way to apply this is to actually pat it onto your skin into all areas rather than applying it sweeping straight away. You can then spread it in by massaging. Would you say that's quite like a serum as well? It is a little bit like a serum because it does soak in really quickly. It's really good for keeping your muscles where they should be. So it's almost like a Botox alternative. Not to the point where you will be sort of like this, but it does give you that slight tightening feel. So please don't mistake that feeling of tight for needing more moisturiser, because it might not be that, it's just the air going working. So when applying eye cream, always use your fourth finger. This is your lightest finger. You'll notice I'm applying the gel from the outside in. So whenever you're applying eye cream, always apply it from the outside in. Many people are tempted to use it that way, but that is actually stretching your skin, which can cause fine lines, which we don't want to do that. So remember, apply with your fourth finger, on the outside in. Step four should be used after your cleanser. It should be used twice a day, morning and night. If that's your choice of moisturiser, make sure you use it after the cleanser. Step 
five is the LA Serum. You can use this as step four if that's your personal preference. Today for demonstration on Ariadne, we are going to use it as step five. We've chosen to use step four as the tightening serum and we're going to apply this for extra nourishment. So one pump of the LA Serum is all you need for your face and your neck. It is quite oily, so if you do have dry skin, you might choose to use two pumps, or if you choose to use it as a night cream, you can use two pumps. Personally for me, it would be too much in the day, so I would choose to just use one pump. This serum is really good for people with oily skin as well. Even though it is an oil, it helps heal spots. There's lots of essential oils in this product that really do nourish your skin and help heal problem areas. I love the feel of this one, it's so smooth. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mm. It is. It makes your skin as soft as silk. I use it at night, always at night, after I've taken my makeup off and just before bed. Yeah, it's really nourishing and it is really good to use at night. That's my personal preference. Step six is the SPF moisturiser. The LA Skincare range has two moisturisers, step four and step six. The gel one and the cream one. If you have a preference to a cream moisturiser and you have slightly dry skin, this might be your moisturiser of choice. Again, only a small amount is needed. This can be used on top of the serum like we're going to do today on Harry Adney, or it can be used on its own just after the cleanser. That should be more than enough to do your whole face. Again, as you can see, apply it all over the face. And the neck. So you pat it in first and then you can massage it in. How does that feel? It feels really good. It's drying in already. Um, it feels very dry and like I could actually apply makeup on after. That's really good. This is the type of um, moisturiser I would probably use. Is that your preference? Yeah, because um, I tend to mix moisturiser with foundation. Yeah. I like a bit of a shine on my face and this feels like it's dry but it's not, it feels healthy dry. Yeah. So it's got that glow to it. Yeah. It feels very good. So the LA Skincare range was formulated to avoid any nasty harsh chemicals. This range is completely paraben free, so all of the products are preserved 100% naturally. I've tried to, wherever possible, source natural ingredients to fill the products. There's key ingredients in each product that help your skin. So the key to this range is exfoliation. It helps get rid of any dead skin, really good for anti-aging and helps clean your skin from congestion. So these products should sue everybody, sensitive, dry and oily, so don't be put off by it's an all-in-one product. 